Ezekiel chapter 33 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, speak to your people and say to them, When I bring the sword against a land, and the people of the land choose one of their men and make him their watchman, and he sees the sword coming against the land and blows the trumpet to warn the people, then if anyone hears the trumpet but does not heed the warning, and the sword comes and takes their life, their blood will be on their own head. Since they heard the sound of the trumpet, but did not heed the warning, their blood will be on their own head. If they had heeded the warning, they would have saved themselves. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet to warn the people, and the sword comes and takes someone's life, that person's life will be taken because of their sin. But I will hold the watchman accountable for their blood. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the people of Israel. So hear the word I speak, and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, You wicked person, you will surely die and you do not speak out to dissuade them from their ways. That wicked person will die for their sin, and I will hold you accountable for their blood. But if you do warn the wicked person to turn from their ways, and they do not do so, they will die for their sin, though you yourself will be saved. Son of man, say to the Israelites, This is what you are saying. Our offences and sins weigh us down, and we are wasting away because of them. How then can we live? Say to them, As surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that they turn from their ways and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways. Why will you die, people of Israel? Therefore, son of man, Say to your people, If someone who is righteous disobeys, that person's former righteousness will count for nothing. And if someone who is wicked repents, that person's former wickedness will not bring condemnation. The righteous person who sins will not be allowed to live, even though they were formerly righteous. If I tell a righteous person that they will surely live, but then they trust in their righteousness and do evil. None of the righteous things that person has done will be remembered. They will die for the evil they have done. And if I say to a wicked person, you will surely die, but they then turn away from their sin and do what is just and right, if they give back what they took in pledge for a loan, return what they have stolen, follow the decrees that give life and do no evil, that person will surely live. They will not die. None of the sins that person has committed will be remembered against them. They have done what is just and right. They will surely live. Yet your people say, The way of the Lord is not just. But it is their way that is not just. If a righteous person turns from their righteousness and does evil, they will die for it. And if a wicked person turns away from their wickedness and does what is just and right, they will live by doing so. Yet you Israelites say, The way of the Lord is not just. But I will judge each of you according to your own ways. In the twelfth year of our exile, in the tenth month on the fifth day, a man who had escaped from Jerusalem came to me and said, the city has fallen. Now the evening before the man arrived, the hand of the Lord was on me, and he opened my mouth before the man came to me in the morning. So my mouth was opened, and I was no longer silent. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, the people living in those ruins in the land of Israel are saying, Abraham was only one man, yet he possessed the land. But we are many, Surely the land has been given to us as our possession. Therefore say to them, 
This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Since you eat meat with the blood still in it, and look to your idols and shed blood, should you then possess the land? You rely on your sword, you do detestable things, and each of you defiles his neighbor's wife. Should you then possess the land? Say this to them. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. As surely as I live, those who are left in the ruins will fall by the sword. Those out in the country I will give to the wild animals to be devoured, and those in strongholds and caves will die of a plague. I will make the land a desolate waste, and her proud strength will come to an end, and the mountains of Israel will become desolate, so that no one will cross them. Then they will know that I am the Lord, when I have made the land a desolate waste because of all the detestable things they have done. As for you, son of man, your people are talking together about you by the walls and at the doors of their houses, saying to each other, Come and hear the message that has come from the Lord. My people come to you as they usually do, and sit before you to hear your words but they do not put them into practice. Their mouths speak of love, but their hearts are greedy for unjust gain. Indeed, to them, you are nothing more than one who sings love songs with a beautiful voice and plays an instrument well. For they hear your words, but do not put them into practice. When all this comes true, and it surely will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. Ezekiel chapter 34 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Woe to you shepherds of Israel who only take care of yourselves. Should not shepherds take care of the flock? You eat the curds, clothe yourselves with the wool, and slaughter the choice animals. But you do not take care of the flock. You have not strengthened the weak, or healed those who are ill, or bound up the injured. You have not brought back the strays, or searched for the lost. You have ruled them harshly and brutally. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And when they were scattered, they became food for all the wild animals. My sheep wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill. They were scattered over the whole earth, and no one searched or looked for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, because my flock lacks a shepherd, and so has been plundered and has become food for all the wild animals, and because my shepherds did not search for my flock, but cared for themselves rather than for my flock. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against the shepherds and will hold them accountable for my flock. I will remove them from tending the flock so that the shepherds can no longer feed themselves. I will rescue my flock from their mouths and it will no longer be food for them. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on a day of clouds and darkness. I will bring them out from the nations and gather them from the countries, and I will bring them into their own land. I will pasture them on the mountains of Israel, in the ravines, and in all the settlements in the land. I will tend them in a good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel will be their grazing land. There they will lie down in good grazing land, and there they will feed in a rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will tend my sheep and make them lie down declares the Sovereign Lord. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. 
I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy. I will shepherd the flock with justice. As for you, my flock, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will judge between one sheep and another, and between rams and goats. Is it not enough for you to feed on the good pasture? Must you also trample the rest of your pasture with your feet? Is it not enough for you to drink clear water? Must you also muddy the rest with your feet? Must my flock feed on what you have trampled, and drink what you have muddied with your feet? Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says to them. See, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. Because you shove with flank and shoulder, butting all the weak sheep with your horns until you have driven them away, I will save my flock, and they will no longer be plundered. I will judge between one sheep and another. I will place over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he will tend them. He will tend them and be their shepherd. I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David will be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make a covenant of peace with them and rid the land of savage beasts, so that they may live in the wilderness and sleep in the forests in safety. I will make them and the places surrounding my hill a blessing. I will send down showers in season. There will be showers of blessing. The trees will yield their fruit, and the ground will yield its crops. The people will be secure in their land. They will know that I am the Lord when I break the bars of their yoke and rescue them from the hands of those who enslaved them. They will no longer be plundered by the nations, nor will wild animals devour them. They will live in safety, and no one will make them afraid. I will provide for them a land renowned for its crops, and they will no longer be victims of famine in the land or bear the scorn of the nations. Then they will know that I, the Lord, their God, am with them, and that they, the Israelites, are my people, declares the Sovereign Lord. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, declares the Sovereign Lord. Ezekiel chapter 35 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir, prophesy against it, and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am against you, Mount Seir, and I will stretch out my hand against you, and make you a desolate waste. I will turn your towns into ruins, and you will be desolate. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you harbored an ancient hostility, and delivered the Israelites over to the sword at the time of their calamity, the time their punishment reached its climax. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will give you over to bloodshed, and it will pursue you. Since you did not hate bloodshed, bloodshed will pursue you. I will make Mount Seir a desolate waste, and cut off from it all who come and go. I will fill your mountains with the slain. Those killed by the sword will fall on your hills and in your valleys and in all your ravines. I will make you desolate forever. Your towns will not be inhabited. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you have said, These two nations and countries will be ours and we will take possession of them, even though I the Lord was there. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will treat you in accordance with the anger and jealousy you showed in your hatred of them, and I will make myself known among them when I judge you. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have heard all the contemptible things you have said against the mountains of Israel. You said, They have been laid waste and have been given over to us to devour. You boasted against me and spoke against me without restraint, and I heard it. 
This is what the Sovereign Lord says. While the whole earth rejoices, I will make you desolate. Because you rejoiced when the inheritance of Israel became desolate, that is how I will treat you. You will be desolate, Mount Seir, you and all of Edom. Then they will know that I am the Lord. 1 John chapter 4 Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God, and whoever knows God listens to us. But whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognize the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he in us. He has given us of his Spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them, and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love. But perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God, yet hates a brother or sister, is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister, whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command, anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Psalm 117 Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. For great is his love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 7 My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, You are my sister. And to insight, You are my relative. They will keep you from the adulterous woman from the wayward woman with her seductive words. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple. I noticed among the young men a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house, 
at twilight as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in. Then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. She is unruly and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner she lurks. She took hold of him and kissed him, and with a brazen face she said, Today I fulfilled my vows, and I have food from my fellowship offering at home. So I came out to meet you. I looked for you and have found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. With persuasive words she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once he followed her, like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose till an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death.